Hi friends, I am Dr. B.V. Rao of Pusha Clinic and founder of the website <coughs> qmedicaldoubts.blogspot.com and uh, raghavamedicaldoubts.com. Through these videos, I am providing the basic knowledge about the commonly occurring diseases, treatment and surgery details when necessary for the medical knowledge to general people and for reference to medicals. Today I am going to discuss about the fistula in ano. Anal fistula is a tract lined by a granulation tissue opens deeply in the anal canal or uh, rectum and superficially on the skin around the anus. The anal fistula is uh, resulted from an anorectal abscess which burst spontaneously or was uh, opened inadequately. The fistula continues to discharge and uh, uh, because of constant reinfection from anal canal or rectum rarely may close permanently without surgical aid. The anorectal abscess may produce a sinus the orifice of which has the appearance of a fistula. It does not communicate with the anal canal or the rectum. It is not a fistula but a sinus. Types of anal fistula depending upon their uh, internal opening is uh, below or above the anorectal ring. These are divided into two groups. Low level, these are again three types. Anorectal fistula is an intramuscular fistula with a branching track leading towards the apex of the ischiorectal fossa. High level. These are rare and are commonly iatrogenic, caused, caused by over-enthusiastic insertion of a probe up the track and through the levator ana into the rectum. Low-level fistula in ana, ana. Clinical features. Persistent seropurulent discharge that irritates the skin in the neighborhood and uh, causes discomfort. Usually the history backs for years. As long as the opening is large, large enough for the pus to escape, pain is not there. If the orifice is occluded, pain increases till the discharge recurs. Usually there is a single opening situated within 1.5 inches of the anus, presenting a small elevation with granulation tissue pouting from the mouth of the opening. Sometimes superficial healing occurs, pus accumulates and uh, an abscess reforms and discharges through the same opening. Thus, uh, there may be two or more external openings usually grouped together on the right or left of the midline. Occasionally, when both the istiorectal fossa are involved, an opening is uh, seen on each side in which case there is a intercommunication between them. There is a more indurated induration of the skin and uh, subcutaneous tissue around the fistula. Good cells rule. Direct type. Fistula with a external opening in relation to the anterior half of the anus tend to the direct type. Those with the external opening or opening in relation to the posterior half of the anus which are uh, much more common usually have curving tracks and uh, may be of a horseshoe type. Rectal examination. An internal opening can be felt as a nodule on the wall of the anal canal. Proctoscopy. Sometimes uh, reveal the internal opening of the fistula. A hypertrophied papilla is suggestive that the internal orifice lies within the crypt related to the papilla. Radiography. Radiography of thorax is undertaken and the possibility of pulmonary tuberculosis considered. De despite the fact that uh, Today, it will be found only very small proportion of patients with uh, fistula in the anal. Special clinical types of fistula in the anal. Fistula connected with an anal fissure. 
Pain due to fissure is a leading symptom. The fistula is very near to the anal orifice, usually posterior, and the external opening is often hidden by the sentinel pipe. Fistula with an internal opening above the anorectal ring. It is uh, due to the penetration by a foreign body or the intramuscular incision of a high intramuscular uh, abscess er erroneously thought to be submucous. Tuberculous. If uh, induration around the fistula is lacking, if the opening is ragged and flushed with the surface, if the surrounding skin is uh, discolored and the discharge is watery, it strongly suggests that uh, the fistula is uh, due to tuberculous infection. In majority of the tuberculosis patients, virulent uh, tubercle bacilli are present in the rectum. Histopathological examination supplies the only criterion of uh, importance as to whether the tissue is uh, tuberculous. The fistula will usually respond to anti-tuberculous drugs alone. Fistula with many external openings. It may be started from the tuberculous uh, proctitis, ulcerative proctocolitis, Crohn's disease or uh, colon or uh, ileum, bilharziasis and uh, lymphogramnidoma inguinal with a fibrous rectal, uh, rectal structure. Colloidal uh, carcinoma may complicate the fistula in the anal. <coughs> Colloidal carcinoma arising with a imperianal fistula. Colloidal uh, carcinoma is liable to cause the perianal fistula. The fistula's condition with its discharge of colloidal material overshadows the primary carcinoma and their condition is uh, diagnosed as an inflammatory fistula in ano. If a primary tumor is present in the rectum, it can be detected and its nature is established by biopsy. Jukes established that uh, colloidal uh, carcinomatous fistula can develop without uh, primary neoplasm in the rectum. He regards such cases as uh, examples of colloidal carcinoma developing in a reduplicated portion of the intestinal tract. Hydradenitis suprativa. It is a chronic infection of the apocrine glands around the anal margin, giving rise to many sinuses discharging a thin seropurulent material. Clinically, it appears as a relatively superficial inflammatory lesion with a fibrous tissue reaction. Treatment is the excision of the area and the skin graft treatment. Pre-operative treatment by antibiotics and uh, cleansing uh, animata is necessary. Operation. It is described in stages. Step 1. The patient is laid in lithotomy position or in prone jerk knife position as preferred by the operator using a bi-digital platform under anesthesia. It is often possible to obtain uh, more information regarding the fistula, fistula than can be uh, learned from probing. It is uh, surprisingly easy to insert a probe through the walls of the tract. Careful bidigital palpation of the perianal tissue will reveal a cord like uh, induration representing the tract which will lead, lead the intraanal finger towards the proximal opening. It is uh, better to find the internal opening via proctoscope. If the internal opening can't be seen, the insertion of a probe retrogradely into the anal crypt, one with a nearly nearby uh, hypertrophied papilla often reveals the internal portion of the tract. The injection methylene blue or uh, other dye into the external opening of the fistula before uh, commencing the cutting part of the operation is uh, 
not recommended for it is unnecessary and the result is sometimes confused step 2 a probe pointed di- director is uh, inserted into the digital orifice and is uh, advanced delicately till it reaches a point where it uh, does does not pass readily the track is opened along the director and uh, bleeding is uh, controlled step 3 it is not evident in which uh, direction the track passes granulations are uh, wiped away with the uh, gauze often this will leave a granulation filled spot at one site only gentle probing at this spot frequently give the clue continuation of the fistula the director is uh, inserted and uh, again followed with the knife for a short distance this procedure is repeated till the entire track and any uh, side channels are laid open as far as possible all muzzle muzzle is divided at uh, right angles to this uh, probes fibers in the rare event of the track uh, passing above the anorectal ring cutting should no, uh, should cease at the level of the dentate line and from then forth the operation is uh, conducted as suggested below in most cases probing and laying uh, open the track can be repeated till the entire track is laid open pursuing uh, this course if there is uh, no internal opening the track will become a uh, breadth of uh, granulation on wiping it as a rule the internal opening can be demonstrated either by direct inspection through a proctoscope or by a bent probe inserted into the anal canal anal crypt in the latter the internal portion of the track is excised in continuity step 4 the edges of the track are uh, trimmed 3 mm of tissue is uh, removed a step that makes uh, post operative packing unnecessary of after the first 24 to 36 hours who gets advocates uh, primary split skin grafting of the wound resulting from fistulotomy the grafts are taken from the inner aspect of the thigh and uh, applied to the anal wound being stitched to the skin edges and uh, to each other in the depth of the wound tulle grass is uh, then superimposed on the form pack of cotton wool applied the first dressing is done on the fifth, uh, fifth post operative day when skin grafting is not done digital uh, dilatation of the anus or the passage of the st mark's hospital dilator every other day prevents uh, pocketing or uh, <coughs> bridging of the granulation wound high level fistula the treatment of these causes are difficult due to the side effects of incontinence so there are uh, three types total fistula it is secondary to the local uh, disease occurs as a result of uh, crohn's disease ulcerative colitis carcinoma forging uh, body foreign body perforating the uh, rectal ampulla from above or trauma it is uh, not related to the ordinary fistula and uh, treatment is uh, that of the cause a traumatic fistula needs a colostomy none of these fistula require to be laid open which would in any case cause incontinence total fistula with high perfor- uh, perforating secondary tract it is an iatrogenic uh, tragedy starts as an intermuscular fistula with a high secondary tract in the ischio rectal fossa up to the levetrana here lies the danger during exploration of the secondary tract unless great care is taken the probe can be pushed through the levetrana into the rectal ampulla thus uh, converting a low fistula into a high level fistula treatment treatment is directed to the intermuscular fistula and healing of upper tract may follow 
if it fails to do so or if the opening into the rectum is of any size a colostomy must be done before the complete healing will take place a section is uh, now rarely used for this condition as it is unsatisfactory high intrasphincteric fistula the tract starts as a primary anal gland abscess and uh, it runs between the internal and, and external sphincter along the plane of the longitudinal muscle fibers it has an opening into the rectum above the anorectal ring and uh, below at the site of a perianal abscess if it is recognized it is easy to treat the internal sphincter is divided and the whole tract is uh, laid open without fear of uh, incontinence that is all about the anal fistula and in the next video i will discuss about uh, some other disease thank you